again, this is Pearls doing part 4 of my Let's Play of King Dugan Dungeon. Last time we had just finished up the second floor and I was ready to hit, uh, descend down another set of stairs to continue my extermination job. Um, hmm, Ponder Beethro, so far I see mostly roaches down here. This looks like a cake job. Yeah, it kind of does feel that way so far and truth be told I'd almost given up on the game at this point because I'm like, this is... Um, less than overtly challenging. Uh, I mean, it was it took a little of getting used to to, uh, to figure out like you know, backslashes and how uh, certain maneuvers could be pulled off to effectively kill roaches. But once I got that in my bill, I was like, oh, this is kind of the same room over and over again. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. I wonder why that potion is there. Now, I kind of did this room a, a more complicated way with this potion. It's an invisibility potion, meaning <coughs> roaches will, if you don't have one of these on, chase you across the room, um, regardless of where you're standing. Uh, but this, uh, only if they're in that little darker box will they come chasing after you, which makes things a little more interesting. But there is a secret back here that's kind of fun to work with. We're now at the exact same room again, except Yikes. for all queens. I think I need the potion this time. Woo! Now those queens won't lay their eggs unless I'm close to them. Which makes this a lot easier. <laughs> now they'll still run for me, so I gotta kinda like force them into corners and stuff. But they won't start running for me until I'm right on top of them. Which is <coughs> beneficial. Um, these secret rooms are interesting. Uh, I don't know if you remember, it was the very first room I started in. There was a, a black and yellow... I guess they call it a master gate. Uh, oh, this is annoying. Come back here. Um, those don't open unless you do every secret in the game, and then you just restore to a new game, and it realizes, oh, you did every secret. Congratulations! Here, we'll open that door for you. And truth be told, I've never opened it, so I'm gonna try. Ha! This time. That was a bit rough, but nothing a good Delva like me can't handle. Honestly, it wasn't hard at all. Be throw you just a pansy. Um, so this time I might try some of the secrets. I might not do them when I'm on that floor. I might use the restore function to to try to take care of them after the fact, but I might give it a shot. Uh, this is an interesting room. This little message down here, w you can go around and you'll come back and say, oh, you can get to this door without having to, to leave the room and come back. That's because when you click on this thing to loop around here in order to leave, uh, generally, this door will close by hitting that one, and so you never get to see that message until you leave the room and come back. So that means there's a way you can do this without ever having to hit this toggle orb. Which, uh... Let's see if I can pull that off. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> No kidding. And <laughs> Beefer makes some snide remark about how he's the best Delver in the world when it's really me. But that's what role playing's all about, right? Mm. Let's see what I can do here. So that was a mistake. How's this mm. gonna work? Hmm. Oh, I know. Derp, derp. There. We gotta get them all stuck on the force arrows. I don't want to go in there right away because I, I don't have the means to open that south door in that line of roaches, so I'm gonna come and wait a second. Now this is kind of, well, I guess, somewhat, somewhat interesting, but not really. Uh, you just basically can, you can always move sideways along. Four so it's like I can't go directly at them from any of these three angles, but I can go up against them sideways. Like perpendicular, perfectly perpendicular is okay. That's okay enough that you can move against that kind of arrow. But anything short of that is, is not permitted. And believe me, they use that uh, perpendicular concept to great, <coughs> great and very frustrating effect later on. See, now I can go and deal with these by hitting that, that orb. Oh, come here. Ha! Ha, indeed. Oh, a new potion. These are my f some of my favorite puzzles in the game, or mimic potions. You eat the potion, place the, uh, and he copies every one of your moves, and he can't die, which is, well, he can, but not by roaches. 
uh, and he copies my moves as best he can. And if he gets snagged on a wall like that, I keep moving, but I use that sometimes for leverage to gain a little bit of extra breathing room in terms of maneuver maneuvering him around the room. So, so I'm doing that by catching him on the wall there to get him up, then moving back to get a little bit more leverage. I don't know if leverage is the right word, but you know what I mean. Space. <laughs> breathing room. Uh, the things that can kill Mimics, um, me, I can kill a Mimic by stabbing with my sword. And if you happen to be in a room with two or more Mimics, they can kill each other by swinging their swords into each other if you're not careful. And that gets a little interesting. Oh, a new enemy, the eye. It's just like a roach, like almost exactly, except that it doesn't start moving until you cross paths with where it's originally facing. No prisoners left? This is going to be a lonely job with no one to talk to. Breathe you talk to yourself. You're talking about. Um, so this is King Dugan's, one of his prison rooms. <clears throat> it's pretty unassuming. It's for the most part, so let's see here. Another queen. I'm not sure what the theme of this dungeon is. Uh, let's see if I can figure it out. I don't think it's eyeballs. I mean, no, eyeballs have their own floor, and that's a really ha! fun floor, but it's way, way, way later, so you'll have to keep watching and or encouraging me to make these videos, because there are going to be a lot of them. Oh, this is a, okay, here's a good example of a, an early on starting to get to some legitimately interesting puzzles. Alright, so you gotta, like, guide the roach out, but you can't let it get caught on those arrows. So that was one of those where the starting position helped a lot. So I'm gonna start with this one on the upper left here, and guide him out. Stab him, stab him in the face as a reward for his good behavior. And then I'm going to guide this top one out. Okay. <coughs> and that last one. What do I need to do for him? When do I? I think I need to <coughs> snag him over in this upper corner right there. And then use him being stuck and being stupid and unable to walk around it. To uh, sneak him over here. Perfect. Clear. Oh, how will I do this room? By walking right by it, because I can't get into it yet. Though there's a clue here. Um, if you look on your map, where this door should be, there isn't one, so it's that's kind of a clue. Uh, this is a funny puzzle. This. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but that piece of paper said will say up there that you don't have to go through this maze to kill that queen. And that's because there's a secret Clear. message here if you're for the observant person. Um, that left will just go right back to the entrance intersection. Uh, ooh, another legitimately decent puzzle. Um, so I need to be able to get these roaches up and into this region without getting caught in any of these side rooms. So let's look at what my options are. I don't know if that's going to be helpful at all. So, um, that seems like a good thing to have open. Um, I need to open this one. Here, though, so... Let's see. Seems like this is my best bet as far as, like, doing something to this degree. Um, yeah, let's try that. Let's do it in little pieces though, I think. I didn't mean to do it in that little of a piece, but whatever. ahead and solve this room for the next video since I'm running out of time, so by the end of it it will be complete. But you saw what I was doing, so um, count that as a solution. I'm going to sign off a little early, about 20 seconds earlier than I usually do, but um, and I will solve this room in the meantime, but you saw how it was done, so I'm not going to feel too bad. Alright, see you next time.